What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode and today I want to talk about the Toner Q9 mic, which is this guy right here. This bad boy right here, it's a pretty awesome mic, especially for the price that you pay for. But as you can see, I'm using it for this video, but it just doesn't need to be for video. You can use it for gaming, for streaming, for a podcast, for voiceover. If you want to create music, you can use this too. You can use this mic for pretty much anything. Now, I wanted to use it partially like this A-roll for the video, but also, like I said before, you can use it for voiceover. I'm going to use it for the voiceover as well. But without further delay, let's dive right in. Taking a look at the microphone, I've already set it up, but in the set, it comes with a condenser microphone, table mounting clamp, metal shock mount, pop filter, suspension, scissor arm stand, foam windscreen, and a USB cable. The thing about this mic that I really enjoy is the ease of using it. All you need to do is plug it in and bam, you can now use a Toner Q9 as your dedicated mic. You don't need any additional drivers at all or any extra source of power. It's literally plug and play. Yes, if you're like me and you have a MacBook, you'll need a USB adapter, but other than that, there shouldn't be any issue whatsoever. Now the Toner Q9 is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, Chrome OS, and Linux. On Mac OS, I use a program called Simple Recorder as it easily gets the job done. The directions and everything about Simple Recorder is straightforward. Now keep in mind that you can use this mic for gaming, but it will only work with PS4 and not with Xbox. This is also not compatible with the Nintendo Switch for those who are wondering as well. The sound of this mic is really good. This video and many of my other videos are made with the Toner Q9, so I really have no complaint. For those of you who understand how sound quality works, give me a break because I'm really no expert. And I don't understand pretty much what like frequency, diaphragm, dynamic range, and all that stuff means. But what I can tell you is that this mic will not disappoint. I'm just an average consumer, an average user testing out the mic. And I can tell you, like I said, this will not disappoint. You'll notice the clearer, richer, and warmer sound that comes from the Toner Q9 mic. With this mic, there is a physical volume button to increase the input of the mic, so it's good to see that they included this. It's designed with a blue light switch indicator to show the change in volume. Some microphones do not tend to add a separate volume button, which can be a bummer, but I am glad that Toner did equip the Q9 mic with a volume rocker. If you were to mute the mic, you would press and hold either the volume up or volume down button to mute the mic. Pressing either button again would unmute it. The cable is about 6 feet long and the arm of the mic does extend out pretty far too. This mic is intended for computer purposes, therefore it will not work for mobile devices at its best. You can perhaps pick up a USB adapter for your mobile device, but if you're looking for something like that, there are better and more portable options. If you're looking to create a podcast, record music or video, live stream or game, the Toner Q9 will suffice your needs. We're living in a time now where we're staying inside more than ever and the addition of a useful mic will come in super clutch. Classes are now shifting to online even more and workplaces are forcing their employees to work from home and conduct meetings as well. We're consistently meeting with friends and colleagues over the web which requires good video and good sound quality. Whether it's work or school, the Toner Q9 mic can also be used in those types of situations. Now I plan on using the Q9 for when my Zoom classes for college begin. I really enjoy the Toner Q9 and will continue to use it. Okay, so my final thoughts are yes, I've enjoyed this. I've had it for more than two months. Thank you, Toner, for reaching out to me. And I've tried different mics that were that didn't break the bank, 40, 50 bucks, but this really has come in clutch. The design, the durability, just the sound of it, the ease of using it, like I just plug in the USB in my computer and bam, I'm already recording. It's that simple. If you're looking for a mic that won't break the bank for something like video or voiceover or gaming, streaming, podcasts, creating music, whatever it may be, then definitely check out the Toner Q9 mic. Like, definitely check this guy out. And that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And to be honest, I, I love this mic. And right when I was looking for a pretty good mic that wasn't going to break the bank 
toner reached out to me and said hey do you want to check out this mic and i said hey sure why not i saw some images of it. i'm like yo I'm, I, let me try this out it really came in clutch especially for these types of videos and for voiceovers too um, there are still some quirks that i'm learning to use with um, sound in general not the mic but learning how sound works and everything like that but this mic really has come in clutch so like i said if you're looking to do voiceovers videos like me uh, a future podcast which is on my mind but it's not coming anytime soon or if you're looking to stream uh, play games videos whatever it is this mic will get the job done and it won't break the bank anyway everybody i'll see you guys next time anyway everybody i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did be sure to superman that like button comment down below because with the more interactions we get on this video not only helps the video and the channel but also pushes the video out to more viewers and best of all superman that subscribe button until next time everybody and until next video this is mtg